confidence about him that when you're down there, he's going to submit you. And he has done that more times than not. Oh, big elbow. Hands next. Well, it was an incredible fight as it played out. It goes the distance here tonight. And always exciting to see a guy as such an active pursuer of the submission. Yeah, I mean, this guy does not rest on his laurels. He understands that his best chance of finishing fights is on the ground. So the moment he gets you to the ground, the moment you take him to the ground, he's quickly throwing Great. up submissions. He attacked Great. every part of his opponent's Great. body, and I believe that that should get him the decision. Lands that beautiful jab. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots thus far. It's crazy because the takedown set up the striker. He is limiting himself in his approach because he's not using a skill that he's become known for. Big stick up top. That's another one. Back and forth we go. Nice single. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Oliveira. He's in the mount. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Michael Chandler. Oh, big elbows from Oliveira. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dars. Oh, Dars choke locked and loaded. Oh, he flattens him on the back now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ninety seconds now to go in our second round. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Your hook looks tight. Great submission defense. Great shot on top by Chandler. It's the elbow there. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Blocked. against Denai. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 30 seconds to go. Clipped him with the right hand there. He gets to the clinch position. Yet another punch, pretty good striking all night by Oliveira. Round three next. All right, take a seat, bud. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands. On both sides of the octagon, both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. That one connected. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. He gets to the single power time. Look at the wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He 
throwing these punches in combination really dictate the pace to his opponent. He's gonna try to take it down. There he goes. Now the takedown. Olivera's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, it's tight. Holding the position, might still be able to get a submission here. Oh, somehow he gets out for the last in submission, D. Imagine the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Side control now. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Chandler's cut above the eye. Oliveira is able to transition back to side control now. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Keep that head if you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, he's got oh. the ground and pound going now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be free. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five by the fans. He uh, continues to attack the floor. Oh, he's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Beautiful level change. Under three. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that one, oh, 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 huge shot he has landed on both sides. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Well, he's got his back now. Take his back, take his back. Take his back, both hooks. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chin. Oh, he's tight to get him. Yep, that gets him deep. He might get a finish here. He needs to work out his position. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward, then off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Right down. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at this fifth and final round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left. Let me see that one now. Just missed on the front kick there. Chandler's eye now closing up. Chandler looks like he's starting to fatigue. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go in front. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Setting up a submission. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. That was a slick transition. Oliveira's going for a choke. Oh, my goodness. That dark choke was very tight. Did he escape that submission? I need you to fight back. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Michael Chen. Might be a submission attempt here, Chen. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. That guillotine is tight. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx. All right, Buff, thank you very much. And there it is yet again, Charles Oliveira adding to his submission total here with a win tonight. New Bronx, Charles Oliveira, the moment the fight hits the floor, you are constantly under attack. Once again,